Welcome to Diabtrinal, where we're committed to your health and well-being. Today, we're diving into an important topic, high cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is a type of lipid, or fat, that is found in the bloodstream and in all cells of the body. It is essential for various bodily functions, including building cell membranes, producing hormones, such as estrogen and testosterone, and synthesizing vitamin D. Cholesterol is produced by the liver, but it can also be obtained from the foods we eat. Cholesterol travels through the bloodstream in particles called lipoproteins. There are two main types of lipoproteins that carry cholesterol. Low-density lipoprotein, LDL. Often referred to as bad cholesterol, LDL carries cholesterol from the liver to the cells. If levels of LDL cholesterol are too high, it can build up in the walls of arteries, leading to atherosclerosis, hardening and narrowing of the arteries, and increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. High-density lipoprotein, HDL. Known as good cholesterol, HDL helps remove cholesterol from the bloodstream by transporting it back to the liver, where it can be broken down and removed from the body. Higher levels of HDL are associated with a lower risk of heart disease. The normal levels of cholesterol can vary slightly depending on individual factors such as age, sex, and overall health. However, general guidelines for healthy cholesterol levels are as follows. Total cholesterol. Desirable less than 200 mg per deciliter, mg slash DL, borderline high, 200 to 239 mg slash DL, high, 240 mg slash DL and above LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol. Higher levels are generally better. For men, HDL levels below 40 mg slash DL are considered low. For women, HDL levels below 50 mg slash DL are considered low. Did you know that what you eat can significantly impact your cholesterol levels? Let's take a closer look at some foods you should avoid if you're aiming to keep your cholesterol in check. Certainly, here are some sample foods that can increase your cholesterol levels fatty meats. Fatty meats can increase cholesterol levels due to their high content of saturated fats. Fatty meats like beef, pork, lamb, and processed meats contain high levels of saturated fats. When you consume foods rich in saturated fats, your liver produces more low-density lipoprotein, LDL, cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol. LDL cholesterol can build up in the walls of your arteries, leading to the formation of plaque. Over time, this plaque can narrow and harden the arteries, a condition known as atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis can restrict blood flow to vital organs, including the heart and brain, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. Additionally, diets high in saturated fats can lower high-density lipoprotein, HDL, cholesterol, often called good cholesterol. HDL cholesterol helps remove LDL cholesterol from the bloodstream, so lower levels of HDL can further contribute to the buildup of LDL cholesterol in the arteries. Some research suggests that saturated fats may also promote inflammation in the body, which can further exacerbate the risk of cardiovascular disease. For these reasons, it's recommended to limit the consumption of fatty meats and opt for leaner protein sources like skinless poultry, fish, legumes, and tofu. Choosing lean cuts of meat and trimming visible fat can also help reduce saturated fat intake. Additionally, incorporating more plant-based protein sources into your diet, such as beans, lentils, nuts, and seeds, can provide heart-healthy alternatives to fatty meats. Full Fat Dairy Products Full-fat dairy products can increase cholesterol levels due to their high content of saturated fats. Full-fat dairy products like whole milk, cheese, cream, and high-fat yogurt contain significant amounts of saturated fats. When consumed, these saturated fats can raise levels of low-density lipoprotein, LDL, cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol. Diets high in saturated fats from sources like full-fat dairy products can also lower levels of high-density lipoprotein, HDL, cholesterol, often called good cholesterol. HDL cholesterol helps remove LDL cholesterol from the bloodstream, so lower levels of HDL can further contribute to the buildup of LDL cholesterol in the arteries. Some research suggests that saturated fats may also promote inflammation in the body, which can further exacerbate the risk of cardiovascular disease. In addition to saturated fats, some full-fat dairy products may contain cholesterol itself, further contributing to elevated cholesterol levels in the bloodstream. For these reasons, it's recommended to consume full-fat dairy products in moderation, particularly if you have high cholesterol levels or are at risk for heart disease. Butter and Margarine Butter and some margarine can increase cholesterol levels primarily due to their high content of saturated fats and, in the case of some margarine, trans fats. 
Butter is primarily composed of saturated fats. When you consume butter, these saturated fats can raise levels of low-density lipoprotein (LDL) cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol. Some margarine products, particularly those that are partially hydrogenated, contain trans fats. While some margarine products may be marketed as healthier alternatives to butter, it's essential to check the ingredients list and nutritional information. Opt for margarine spreads that are free from trans fats and low in saturated fats, ideally made from healthier oils like olive oil or canola oil. For individuals concerned about cholesterol levels or at risk for heart disease, limiting the intake of butter and margarine, particularly those high in saturated fats or trans fats, is recommended. Instead, opt for healthier fat sources like olive oil, avocado, nuts, and seeds, which can provide heart-healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Baked goods. Baked goods can contribute to increased cholesterol levels primarily due to their high content of unhealthy fats, refined carbohydrates, and added sugars. Many baked goods, such as pastries, cookies, cakes, and muffins, are made with ingredients high in unhealthy fats like butter, shortening, or margarine. Many baked goods are made with refined carbohydrates, such as white flour and sugar. Refined carbohydrates can raise triglyceride levels in the blood, which can also contribute to higher cholesterol levels, particularly when consumed in excess. Baked goods often contain added sugars to enhance sweetness and flavor. Baked goods are typically calorie dense, meaning they provide a high number of calories relative to their portion size. When baking at home, consider using healthier ingredients like whole wheat flour, oats, nuts, seeds, and unsaturated fats like olive oil or avocado oil as alternatives to butter or shortening. Fried foods. Fried foods can increase cholesterol levels due to several factors, including their high content of unhealthy fats, particularly trans fats and saturated fats. Many fried foods are cooked using partially hydrogenated oils, which are a major source of trans fats. This combination increases the risk of heart disease by promoting the buildup of plaque in the arteries. Fried foods are typically high in calories due to the absorption of oil during the frying process. For individuals concerned about cholesterol levels, it's essential to limit the consumption of fried foods and opt for healthier cooking methods such as baking, grilling, steaming, or sauteing. When frying foods at home, choose healthier oils like olive oil or canola oil and avoid reusing oil multiple times, as this can increase the formation of harmful compounds. Fast food. Fast foods can increase cholesterol levels due to several factors, including their high content of unhealthy fats, refined carbohydrates, and added sugars. Here's how fast foods can impact cholesterol. Many fast foods, such as burgers, fries, fried chicken, and pizza, are high in unhealthy fats, particularly saturated fats and trans fats. Many fast foods are made with refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, white rice, and sugary sauces or condiments. Fast foods often contain added sugars to enhance flavor. Fast foods are typically calorie dense, meaning they provide a high number of calories relative to their portion size. Consuming too many calories from fast foods without balancing them with other nutritious foods can contribute to weight gain and obesity, both of which are risk factors for high cholesterol levels and heart disease. Many fast foods are also high in sodium, which can contribute to high blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease, particularly when consumed in excess. For individuals concerned about cholesterol levels, it's essential to limit the consumption of fast foods and opt for healthier meal options. Processed foods. Processed foods like frozen dinners, packaged snacks, and convenience meals often contain hidden sources of unhealthy fats, sugars, and sodium, which can contribute to elevated cholesterol levels. Palm oil and coconut oil. While these oils are plant-based, they are high in saturated fats, which can raise cholesterol levels. Limit your use of these oils in cooking and food preparation. Certain seafoods. While seafood is generally considered healthy, some types are higher in cholesterol and unhealthy fats. Examples include shrimp, lobster, and squid. While they don't need to be completely avoided, it's best to consume them in moderation. Egg yolks. Egg yolks are high in cholesterol, so it's recommended to limit your intake if you have high cholesterol levels. However, you can still enjoy eggs by opting for egg whites or using egg substitutes. It's also important to focus on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats to support overall health and manage cholesterol levels effectively. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the impact of diet on cholesterol levels. Remember, making mindful choices about the foods you eat can have a significant effect on your heart health. Subscribe for more health tips and information.
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips, recipes, and insights into living a heart-healthy lifestyle. We're here to help you on your journey to better health. Have questions or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Until next time, take care of your heart and prioritize your well-being. Together, we can make healthier choices for a brighter tomorrow.